morning, good afternoon, good evening. The name is Metal Man 20. And I just, I really, I, I want to try and just start this reaction as quickly as possible. But it's just, with everything that's happened in the past few episodes, especially with the last episode, like, Jesus Christ, dude, I'm flipping out right now, okay? I'm actually stressed. Like, I, I just, I know it probably doesn't look it, but like, I just, we got two episodes. We got this and the one that happens next week. This is it. We got two more episodes. And just, whatever happens with this episode, I don't think you know. Like, I'm scared, okay? So, just real quick, just as a quick break, uh, brief, uh, point of reference, okay? Look, if you look over here, real quick, <laughs> you'll see the picture that's from the, you know, from the promotions on Verb for Volume 5, where it had the B, oh no, it had the W slash and half. What happens in Volume 5? Weiss gets fucking impaled, okay? Like, near death experience. We all freaked out, we were all crying, we were all just like having a panic attack. So, <laughs> with that being said, let's go and look at the promotions for Volume 7, shall we, on Verb? We have the W, no, we have the B slashed in half now with a tiny little bit of the W <laughs> slashed off. So just forgive me if I seem like I'm exaggerating or just being over dramatic, but I'm getting really nervous, okay? Cause I swear to God, if something happens to any of these characters, I'm going to flip the fuck out. <sighs> okay, probably not, but I I I'm seriously like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm really getting stressed out. This is, this just, I mean, let's just take a second, okay? The flashback. Alright, well, what happened in the last episode? Ironwood goes completely insane and goes out the deep end. Not necessarily the villain. He hasn't gotten completely that far past, but he's getting pretty damn close. Like, he's trying to go into martial law now, which is just not the, the right thing to do. We got that. Now, we have Team Ruby, who are pretty much are getting arrested at this point. We're gonna have a fight between Team Ruby and the Aesops. So, you know, really, really kind of excited. Actually, I'm very freaking excited to see how that turns out. I mean, for God's sake, we've seen so many montages of them all training. Ruby training and getting better. Like, yes, the Aesops are the best of the best, but... I mean, can Ruby even stand a chance against them? I mean, we're gonna freaking find out! I mean, let's face it, they're obviously gonna fight. Like, this episode is gonna, like, have the fight. For God's sake, the thumbnail is Harriet looking like she's going into overdrive with her semblance. So, I mean, whatever the hell happens, it's, it's gonna be freaking insane. And I really, I just, I don't know. I don't know anymore, dude. I'm scared. Alright? Yes, Tyrion, and, you know, we have Tyrion who's locked up at the moment. Well, you know, locked up in the sense that we have both Clover and Crow watching over him as they all fly off, probably to put him in jail. But now that... Robin and Crow overheard what Ruby said. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. And I, I'm just, I'm scared for everyone. I'm so scared for everyone. And then of course we had the big moment where freaking Salem showed up. All right, you know, Ruby had this huge speech. She's just like, you know what? Fuck you, Salem. All right, we know what you're up. We know what you're up to. We know who you are. We've seen it all. We know that we can't kill you, but we can beat your ass. And then she just goes, yo mama, and can I also just for one second, just really just, I want to say real quick that, uh, that whole scene, not only was it one of the most terrifying scenes, but just, it was so well done. The sound design, just everything about that whole scene was so good. Just those screeching distorted sound effects when it kept flashing to sit long to summon and how in this case, everything was dark, was gloomy, just she was clearly upset. You know, compared to Volume 6, where we got to see a sunrise, a sunset, she being happy, so not only was that a stark contrast, but... Oh god, dude. We also- that was a 100% official confirmation that Salem killed Summer! So I swear to god, we need to have a flashback of some sort with Team Stark in like Volume 8. That has to happen. We have to see what the hell happened! Oh god. Okay, it's been like six minutes. I gotta stop. I'm getting too nervous. I'm getting too stressed out. Alright. You know what? I, I, I think that's it. That's it. We're done. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I think it's done. Now we go ahead and do this. Alright. So this is gonna be episode 12 with friends like these. 
With Salem's forces drawing closer and the general's orders for their arrest, our heroes are forced to fight on our fronts to save the city Ironwood has abandoned. Ah! <laughs> I'm seriously not okay right now. Alright. You know what? I think it's time. So, you know what? Enough rambling from this guy. Oh, oh, whoopsie daisy! No, no! <laughs> Here we go, sorry. Without further ado, let us begin with our... with the reaction for episode 12. Which, of course, will begin in 3, 2, 1... And... Now! Okay, so sorry about that! Clearly, obviously, this is a very clear jump cut. I'm so sorry about that. For some stupid bullshit asinine reason, it turns out... These headphones... I'm literally, uh, don't worry, I've only seen the first minute before everything went to shit, don't worry, like it's not, it literally, like, the main credits didn't even stop, so I haven't seen anything. Literally, for some reason, these headphones, when I have these connected to my PC, slows my PC down to shit, I don't even know why, I really don't, but just the video stops loading, and it just buffers, and it's just like, and it's like, it was 40 seconds in, and then BOOM, the video stops, so then I'm like, okay, let's try this again. 15 seconds later, as the credits are ending, it's like, boom, stops, and I'm like, okay, well, clearly, this is gonna be an issue. But then it was like, I was like, you know what, let me, let me just, for God's sake, let me just test this out for a second. It's crap art theory. Freaking unplugged it, I turned off my headphones, and... Oh my goodness, the fi freaking video's loading! Correctly! Like, what the fuck?! Like, really?! What?! What is this? And this thing that sucks the most? I mean, I've recorded reactions from previous volumes with these headphones before and, and there wasn't an issue. I mean, I, I just, I, I really, I just, I don't know. I'm sorry, I, I really just don't know. Okay, I got this point. The end of the credits. Open the secrets. You know what, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's get right into this though. And boom! Okay, so we're starting right from when Ruby went past Ironwood to drop the message. Declaring martial law? We cannot let him do this. Yeah, no shit. I'm sure the general understands the enormity of this. And also, look at Tyrion. He is loving this. You sick son of a bitch. Mm, that was from the Twitter. Literally, like two or three days ago, Twitter released that. Like the official, Crow, official Twitter. You should know. Ruby released that on Twitter. You the free ride and the show. Oh, there shut that! Shut the hell up! Team Ruby's arrest. What? Has James lost his mind? Oh, you don't know the half of it! Crow, you have no freaking idea! Looks like he underestimated me. Again. Okay, can we not? Can we please not? Been through tonight, please don't make me arrest you too. You don't even have to arrest him though! Cut it out! Please! We're almost back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's talk to James personally. It's taking a very long time. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude! Shut, shut your damn mouth! Right. Let's get this over with. Robin. Please, please don't- Oh, come on! What are you doing? Oh, God, are we- Why did we do this? Come to this. It doesn't have to. We can hug now once we've taken him down. Oh, we just don't take him down! And we talk this out! Whoa! No, 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 Tyrion! <laughs> you are going full psychopath mode! <laughs> Holy shit, dude! He's gone legit full psycho! Weiss, what did you do? The general is leaving Mantle to perish? He's saving Remnant. We can't let the relics fall to Salem. But we don't. But all those people we just protected. Exactly. We don't survive. We don't have time to. That doesn't bother you. Oh, thank you, Penny. Penny's asking the good, the deep questions. What about your sister? Our the questions friends. that need to be asked. Our personal feelings don't matter. We have orders. <sighs> I'm to retrieve the power of the Winter Maiden so we can access the relic. You're here to ensure my safety. But Mantle shouldn't take the fall for this. We've already lost enough time. It should matter. Damn right it should! Penny, the 
general is making hard choices so we don't have to. For the good of all. Okay, thank God. Just the video really is loaded. I don't have to not be away about it. I do not see what is good about any of this. Oh, good for you, Penny! God. On that we can agree. Please, oh. think about what you're doing. Oh, no! <laughs> Dude, the a shots The fight! Come on, come on, please don't! You don't have to fight this out! I mean, I kind of want you to, but please! Don't make this really? Don't make we're we're going to do this? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! We're not actually going to slug this out! Oh, no, really doesn't want to do this! are not doing anything. They decide what happens. Oh, that's such bullshit, you know it! You know what's going to happen! <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how to fight! Stop us. We're the best huntsmen in Atlas. You were. Then you trained us. <laughs> oh! oh! Damn, Ruby! Shut her down! Come on, Harriet! We're playing right into Salem's hands! She's got a point! She's got a big point here! Oh, don't give me that crap. I had you kids pegged right from the start. Oh, you cocky bitch! <laughs> oh, oh, whoa! Oh, God. Go! Yay! <laughs> oh! Oh god, I'm totally going insane! Come on, come on, come on! Keep on back the dream work! Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey! Won't hurt you. Speak for yourself! They betrayed us! Oh! Betraying the people you've sworn to protect! It's not worth it, Blake. They're just following orders now. Oh! Oh! See? Okay, so they all have a personal reason for doing this. I'm starting to think that none of them really want to do this, but... They're just, they're just following orders now. But you can at least tell that Mero... Oh, come on! Like, it's so obvious at this point. Cut the crap, 
kill you? I'm trying to arrest her, not kill her, Hare. You're being excessive. <gasps> it's not excessive if it's necessary. Okay, so it looks like Harry is the only one who's actually trying. Everyone else still has the personal beliefs in what they're doing. But at the same time, they're just- Oh! Oh! Wait! But- Oh! No! 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 Oh! Please! 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 I swear to God! I swear to God! They've had their chance. Don't be soft. You are fucking with the wrong duo! For yourself. Oh! 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 They're fighting amongst themselves now! And here we go! Please. 
Lucky me. Cinder. <gasps> responsible for Beacon. Damn straight she was! To me. It was unfortunately temporary. Oh you bitch! <laughs> Fuck you! Either there won't be anything left to salvage this <gasps> What do you think of that? I think <sighs> Oh! Oh! oh.
No, that's that's no, that's uh, Lionheart. That still takes the cake on that. It was it was off screen, but you know what? I still think Arnold said it best when he when he did his reaction for that episode. It felt too real. Like props for Lionheart's voice actor. I'm doing that whole bit because that just was. Uh, and of course, Salem just not clearly not giving a shit. Just being like a oh, coward. Just she was she was ruthless and heartless on that. She was just. Mm. <sighs> Well, great! And you know what? I'm sure a lot of people are now going to stop bitching and be like, Well, great! What the fuck was Crow thinking? And you know what? That's just it. He wasn't thinking! That was completely based on emotion. One of his friends, someone he thought he could trust, like a bromance, so to speak. Someone he thought he could finally talk to. And he thought that he betrayed him. And he let his, rea he let his emotions get to him. And now that's, August, that's definitely going to crop him for the rest of his life. So great, we have that. We're gonna have Team Orange versus Team well, versus fucking Leo, Penny and Sprinter versus Cinder. We're gonna get to see what happens with Team Ruby, and I, I don't know how on earth this could possibly get any worse than it's already gotten. But if it somehow gets even worse with this finale, I'm going to. Seriously, do I have tissues anywhere? Because I, I swear to God, if something severe happens to one of the main like to the, one of the main main characters, I swear to God, I'm going to, f I, I, I'm just gonna stop breaking down crying. I'm just, I'm heads up right now. Oh, Jesus H Christ, that was, that was an episode. It's just that ending. It's just great, you know. It's like where the hell is Tyrion? Like why are we doing all this? And then. It's like we have a second, and we're thinking, okay, can we please just talk this out, and then just... Also, can I please just take a second and go back to... Can I, can I just go back? Where the hell... Where is that shot? I just... I need... No. Mm. This is... What is with... T what is with Kruby using extremely well-detailed artistic designs when it comes to emotional distraught and heartbreak and just devastation? Same exact thing with what happened when Yang got her arm cut off. You know, the whole screen turned an extremely different design and just... Come on, dude! Like, what the fuck, dude? Come on! God damn you, Tyrion! And he's such a showman about it. Like, look at, like, look at this shit! Look at him! It's gonna... Looks like our score will we'll have to wait! You know my track, track record, record with, with the authorities! Such a damn showman here to the very end, you're a sick bastard and I hate you, but god damn it if I don't love to hate you. You can't help but just admire his showmanship. I do not admire you at all at the moment, Terry, you piece of shit, but... He's just, he's, just, he's very theater driven, you know, you gotta give him that. God damn it, dude. Oh my god, but I mean, we have freaking this. And also, can I please just go back for a second? I need to go back. Where the hell is that shot? I need to take a picture. Oh, not a picture, but I just need a freaking freeze frame of when Yates activated the set list, dude. Because holy shit, that was amazing. Wait a second, where the hell is it? Where is it? Come on. I need, mean, here we go. Wait a second. Wait a second. Like, like, dude, look at this. I need a second. I need a fucking second. Like, Look at this! It's just like, it's like, boom, boom, <laughs> Just how her hair just goes, boom. Dude, that looks so good! And also, can I just ask real quick, while I'm still, like, having a freaking spaz attack, can I just go ahead and, like, see all those sparks? Like how sparks just sort of shot up a little bit, sort of like a kindling of a fire? Do they always do that? Did that always happen with her semblance? Because I honestly don't remember at this point, but... I think maybe, or maybe that's just a cool new feature with like the new engine they've been using. Either way, boom! <laughs> like I love that. I fucking love that, dude. Look how good that looks. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a second to watch the rest of this because I did kind of miss this. I did miss this section. Oh, and that was the there's a thumbnail. Harriet stood, and then she fell, and now she's on the ground. Have to stop, Iron Man. If 
Oh god, I love that. Dude, <laughs> this whole fight scene was amazing. Seriously, like, I, I'm sure Kurumi's not gonna watch this and that's, <clears throat> that's fine. But can I just say, if they somehow, by some sheer miracle, they saw this. Seriously, Kurumi, I fucking love you. I love all of you. Everything you put into this show is amazing, especially with shit like this. Oh my god, I'm, <laughs> that was so freaking good, dude. That was so good. It was cool. It was crisp. It was clean. Any other positive synonyms you can think of? Anywho, so <laughs> look at me. We got that shit going on. And can I actually go back? And there's only one more thing that I really want to go back to because this was actually very important. And I'm so proud of Penny for asking these questions. Like, like okay, we have this. No, come on. Let's, let, no, we had that. They crashed. We have this. Come on. Where, where on earth? Okay, we have this. Clovis sign. Where the hell is the conversation? Where is Winter and Penny? Because this is a very important. No, stop. Here we go. Let the relics fall to Salem. But all those people we just protected, they won't survive. We they don't have time. That doesn't bother you? I love that about Penny. She may not be human. What about your sister? But she Our still friends. understands all that's I right and wrong. Don't matter. We have orders. Yes, I'm things aren't black and white like this, so but access the relic. You're here to ensure my safety. But like at the same time, it's like. Oh, come on. We've already we got... lost enough time. It's like we got this going. It should matter. It should, and that's what's important. That's what's important about this whole thing. The general is making hard choices, so we don't have to. That's just it, though. The good of I would is not no, going it's... off of. He's not making hard choices based on thoughts. He is purely based on fear and emotion. About any of this. And that's right, Benny. You question this shit. Don't be okay with any of it. Can't agree. Like I just, I, I, I seriously, this actually, the fight scene's amazing. Okay, the ending. Was devastated, and I'm seriously, uh, I don't know how people are gonna feel about that. And that's gonna be a whole other conversation I just really don't wanna get into. But, and like, apart from the Ruby fight scene, uh, like Ruby versus the Ace Dots, this actually may be one of my favorite scenes of this entire show. Well, well, not entire show, but like of this volume. Cause it's just, it's just, it's so good. It helps show that things aren't black and white, and you have, and yes, you. You gotta take orders, but you just you can't just blindly follow orders. You can't, because that's what all actually does make you one hundred percent human is knowing to not just be an emotionless husk and just do what you're told. You're supposed to think and say, "Listen, this isn't right. This is fucked all the way up," and that I shouldn't be, like we or me or I anyone else we shouldn't be doing this. And that's okay to question that. You shouldn't just blindly follow orders, because then you got shit like I would telling everyone to just arrest Ruby, and then we got all this shit going down. Anyway, I don't think I actually need that anymore. Let me just get rid of that. Sorry. I just need to get rid of that, because that was the last thing I wanted to show. But, oh, man, dude, that freaking ending. And again, it's like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I showed it already. Like, in the editing, I'm probably going to show it. But I'm just going to show it again, just side by side. Like, here's the comparison right here. It's like, yay to on cutoff, and boom. Everything just sh turns a dark shade of black, but then red highlights everything. Now with this, you have the whole backdrop. But, like, everything in the front is, like, blacked out. And except for the sword, that's bright red, because... I mean, obviously, if you're going to freaking stab and shh, Stab someone like that, it's gonna be covered in blood. And Jesus Christ, dude. I just. Really, I, I'm probably just gonna put it in this. You know what? I know people are gonna think I'm being over dramatic, but I don't care. Because I'm sure there's gonna be people who have a huge, tough time with blood. I don't even like blood that much, which is weird considering I see a lot of fucked up movies, horror films with gore. So. Really, I mean, have you ever seen the movie Brain Dead or Dead Alive by Peter Jackson? That shit's like the goyest shit you're ever gonna see. And you know what, I'm not gonna really spoil anything in case you wanna check it out, but uh, two words, lawnmower scene. Don't know what I'm talking about, just look it up. There's like thousands of gallons of fake blood using that scene, and god damn is that shit awesome, but seriously, like back to this, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna probably just put a trigger warning. Tr oh my god, this is why it sucks when you have an issue talking sometimes. Trigger warning, that's what I said. Don't freaking miscroak me on that. <sighs> Seriously, just bottom line, if you don't like blood, I'm, I'm just gonna give you a heads up and let you know when that happens, because, <sighs> fucking Christ, dude, that's absolutely the bloodiest, most brutal on-screen death that we've had. 
Hey, can we please just take a second to realize that Chloe's final words were good luck? Which is the obviously the complete opposite of what Crow has as his semblance. That is That is just heartbreaking, dude. That's oh, That's gonna get some time to get used to. That's gonna take some time to have to deal with that fact. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoy the reaction. The Andy might have ripped our souls and gut like our hearts out, but at least we can agree the fight between Ruby and the ASOS was freaking amazing. Can we please just all agree on that? That was incredible. I'm freaking out for like the whole 10 minute fight that's going down. And I was a-okay with it. I cannot wait for the comments. Everyone's gonna be in the comments like, God, you react too much. You talk too much. Shut the fuck up. I don't even care, man. Like, it's a reaction. 2020, people! And I, I've seen popular Ruby react YouTubers who keep getting the same stupid bullshit of, hey, you talk too much, shut up, we're watching the show. It's like, dude, it's 2020. Do you seriously not get the, like, the aspect of what a reaction video is? It's a react video. People talk, they react to it. If you want to see just the episode, it's right there on the website for free a week later, and it's literally just five dollars if you want to get the subscription to see it a week early, and it's like, dude, like, can we not? Again, 2020, please, can we stop with this stupid bullshit of stop talking during a reaction video? Because at that point, it's not a react video, it's just a let's watch. Anywho, I think I'm done. That's all I wanted to get done with that, so. Seriously, stupid chair. I really hope that wasn't an issue. I thought I was gonna deal with it. I, I know I said last week I was gonna deal with it. I didn't do that. I lied. I'm sorry. This chair sucks sometimes, and I'm sorry. All right. So the name is Bellman20. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I hope you enjoyed the Ruby episode that we all got to enjoy and watch together. And now we got one week until the finale. Quick recap on what's gonna happen. Hopefully this is what happens during the ending, depending on how long the last episode is. Team Orange versus Neo. So Oscar, Nord, Ren, and Jean up against Neo. We're gonna have Winter and Penny against Cinder. I swear to God, if something happens to one or both of them, I'm going to seriously throw something. I'm gonna throw sh I'm going to freak the fuck out. I swear to God, if something happens to either of them or both of them, I need it. Cinder, you bitch! You you gonna leave them alone. Gonna leave them alone. And we're gonna see the aftermath. We're gonna get to see Maria and Pat. Like we haven't seen Maria or Pat. Oh, Pat. Did I seriously just freaking forget his goddamn name? Pietro. Sorry, we haven't seen Maria or Pat Pietro in a while now. So I was actually wondering where they were. Like we haven't seen them in like three or four episodes. But yeah. So now, without Ruby and the gang, we're gonna have to just you know talk their way out of what the hell went down. Well, I'm right outside of Ironwood's office, and, and hell, even inside his office. And then we're gonna get to go see Crow, and how the hell he's gonna be able to deal with that. He was doing so good without drinking, I'm so freaking scared that now he's gonna go back to drinking. Because it, it was his fault. Again, it was completely on emotion. He wasn't thinking at all in this scenario. And that's going to haunt him. Like, really, probably for the rest of his life. And, oh, I really hope his friends and family are gonna be there to comfort him. Because I, I don't want him to go back to drinking! He was doing so good with that! Oh man, okay. Like I said, I, I'm just talking about time now, I'm sorry. Again, Metal Man 20, nice to meet you. I, you know, I make Ruby React videos sometimes. I wish I could do this at the whole volumes, but I'm awful like that. And I do mostly rhythm game videos, so Clone Hero, like Guitar Hero, Rock Band, just friggin' Beat Saber, new spin rhythm game, you know, it's awesome stuff like that. And I started a mini series on Kingdom Hearts and just stuff like that. You know, every now and then I do some a video that's not rhythm game based. It won't be all the time, but sometimes. Anyways, please enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your week. And until next week when the final episode premieres, and most likely we're all going to die of emotional distraught. Anyway, take care and keep being amazing. <sighs>